In today's video, we're checking out the Missing Link Audio Peacock Dual Drive. This is a Southern Rock and Blues Rock machine in a box. If you're a huge fan of Dwayne Allman, Billy Gibbons, or any other type of blues rock, you'll get a kick out of what this has to offer. This is an overdrive with a new boost circuit. If you saw my original review, and if you haven't, I'll link it up in the cards, this is fundamentally the same overdrive circuit as you've heard on the original version with the inclusion now of this boost. A massive thank you to Missing Link Audio for sending this out, I really appreciate it. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. I've got a brand new backing track for this video, something a little bit different. I hope you like it, leave a thumbs up if you do. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at this pedal up close. We get four main controls. The level controls your output volume, the gain control controls how much drive we actually get in our signal. The further you turn the tone control up this way, the more high end you're going to get, and you can roll it back this way if you so choose. The voice control over here allows you to get the sound of a JBL speaker. This is designed to emulate an Allman Brothers style sound, but the great news is it does far more than just that. I'm gonna showcase some different tones on this video, but if you have it this way, it's removing that voicing if you have it this way, it's going to give you a really great projection, especially in the mix. So I encourage you to give this voice control a shot. I think it's pretty much the star of the show when it comes to this pedal. We get a three-way toggle switch here, which changes the overall dynamics of the pedal. Position two is by far my favorite, and I'll showcase all of that in this video. And we get a boost button. Now this boost will add more volume and more gain, and it can't be used independently. You have to have the pedal on and then use the boost. So consider this like your rhythm tone if you want to look at it that way. And then if you need a lead tone, you can simply click on the boost. We get side mounted jacks and a top mounted nine volt DC power input. Here's the inside of the dual drive pedal. As you can see, it's built extremely well and it's beautifully tidy. All right, let's kick it off in today's video. I'm playing my PRS SE Custom 24 loaded with the Missing Link Audio humbucker pickups and I'm going into the clean channel of my Fender Blues Deluxe reissue amp. This is the clean tone on the bridge pickup. We're gonna take a look at the gain control to begin with. The gain is set down at about nine o'clock and the toggle switch is in the center position. Great tone to begin with, over the neck. Sounds pretty great. Let's go back to bridge pickup and we'll crank the gain up to about one o'clock. This is a really great blues tone. You can also get a much sort of fatter tone than that out of it if you choose to use the boost. And I'll show you that in a moment, but it's a bridge pickup. Have a listen to this. Yeah. 
Very blues rock kind of tone in that regard. If you turn down, it cleans up nicely. And all the way up. All right, let's crank the gain. Here we go, bridge pick up. I know this is based on the Allman Brothers kind of vibe, but you can definitely get lots out of it. All I've done is change up the gain control. It's pretty cool. All right. I've just adjusted the pedal by backing off the gain and turning up the treble so we can see a little bit about what the boost circuit does. This will give you more gain and more volume. Here we go. Well, it's added a lot of gain to the signal. All the top end is still there, it sounds great. Over to neck, pick up for some lead. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the voice control. I've turned it most of the way to the left, which is disabling most of that JBL speaker sound from the actual mix of the pedal. Let's take a listen. Twelve o'clock. Most of the way to the right, which is where I like it. That's the kind of sound that really sticks out in the mix. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the three-way toggle switch, starting with it in the center position. I've just mixed up the parameters on the pedal and turned on the boost. We're going to go for a big rhythm guitar sound. Here we go. Middle is still my favorite. I think it sounds great. Let's try an off clean rhythm tone with some single coils. This is my Fender American Original 50s Telecaster. I've got the gain down and the toggle switch in the up position. Here we go. Both pickups. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Now let's crank up the gain a little bit. We'll go over to the bridge pickup for a little bit of lead stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane, a massive thank you to Missing Link Audio in Pendergrass, Georgia for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. I'm going to give you my thoughts about this, but I already have done that on the prior version of this particular pedal without the boost, so it's a great sounding overdrive. You can get lots out of it from those Allman Brother tones if that's what you're going for, all the way through to like Billy Gibbons tones, rock, blues, all kinds of cool stuff. So. If you're looking for a very flexible and functional overdrive pedal that now includes a boost, this one makes a whole lot of sense. And if you don't need the boost circuit, you can still get the one with just the single overdrive circuit built into it and save a few bucks that way. The boost circuit just gives you that little bit of extra gain and a little bit of extra volume. And again, if that's something you think you'll be using if you're playing live, then go for the one with the boost. At the end of the day, this is an extremely functional pedal and everybody's ear is slightly different to everybody else's. but. I much prefer the toggle switch in the center position. If it didn't have a toggle switch and it sounded like it did with the switch in the middle, I think it would be even better. But it's great to have those options there if you so choose to use them. Experiment around with your rig as well because everybody's situation, guitars, amps and so forth are very different. This pedal also stacks well with other effects as well. I may do a follow up video on that in the future. Thanks again for watching folks. If you want to check this out, I'll link it below. Catch you soon. See ya.